George. <laughs> Let, Lenny, Lenny, don't drink so. Lenny, you hear me? You gotta That's make yourself sick. George, like George is good. Here, you drink some different, George. I don't know. It looks kind of scummy to me. George, I'm sorry. Look, it doesn't taste too bad now. Hey, hey. Lenny, you ought to drink water when it ain't running. Dude, look at the wrinkles in the water, George. Look, look, here, look, look at what I'm doing. I swear you drink gutter out of water out of gutter. Damn it! Good room, clear up to that ranch gate. Goddamn bus driver didn't know what he was talking about. Just a little stretch down the highway, he says. Just a little stretch. Damn near four miles! No, I bet he was too damn lazy to pull up. It's a wonder he wasn't too lazy to pull up Soledad at all. A little stretch. George? Yeah, what do you want? Where, where are we going? So you forgot that already, did you? I gotta tell you again? I forgot. Jeez. I tried not to forget. Honest, I did. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you again. Might as well spend all my time telling you things. I tell you and then you forget them no, again. I, I tried and tried, George, but it, it didn't do no good. But, George, I don't remember about the rabbits, so... To hell with the rabbits! That's all you remember is those damn rabbits. Now, you remember sitting on that gutter in Howard Street and us watching that blackboard? Oh, you sure, George, I remember that. <laughs> but, but what did we do then? I remember some girls passed by and then you said To something. hell with what I says. Do you remember us going into Murray and Reddy's and they gave us work cards and bus tickets? George, I, sure, I remember that. George. Yeah? I ain't got mine, George. I must have lost it. No. George, I... George, I ain't got... You ain't ever had none. Okay, I got them both right here. You think I'd let you carry your own work card? I thought I'd put it in my side pocket, George. <laughs> What'd you take out of that pocket? Anything in my pocket, George. I know the ring. It's in your hand now. What do you have in your hand? I ain't got nothing, George, honest. Give it here. It's only a mouse, George. A mouse? A live mouse? No, a, a dead mouse. I, I didn't kill it, George. I found it. I, I found it while we was walking along. Give it here. Let me have it, George. Give it here. What do you want with a dead mouse anyways? I was petting it with my thumb while we was walking along. Well, you ain't petting no mice while you're walking with me. Now! See if you can remember where we're going. I, I forgot again. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <sighs> okay. We're going to work on a ranch like the one we come from up north. Up north? In weed? <clears throat> oh, sure. I, I remember in, in weed, yeah. Yeah. Ranch about a quarter mile up that way, okay? We're gonna go in and we're gonna see the boss. And, and, and see the boss. Right, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna give him the work cards, but you, you are gonna stand there and not say a word. You hear me? You're gonna stand there and not say nothing. I'm not saying nothing, George. Good. If he finds out what a crazy bastard you are, we won't get the job. But if he sees you work before he hears you speak, we're set. You got that? Sure, George. Sure, I, I got that. Okay, now what are you gonna do tomorrow when we go in to see the boss? I'm just gonna stand there and not gonna say nothing. Good, now say that over two or three times so you don't forget it. I, I'm just, I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing, and I, I ain't gonna say nothing. And you ain't gonna do no bad things like we done in weed, neither. Like I, like I done in weed? So you forgot that too, did you? George, they, they ran us out in weed, George. Run us out? Hell, we run. Yeah. They, they were chasing us, but they didn't catch us. Oh. <laughs>
I'm sorry, George. Now look. I want you to go gather up some dead willow sticks and start a fire. All right, I got three cans of beans in my bindle. I'll open them up while you get a fire going, right? We'll eat them cold. I like beans with ketchup. Yeah, but we ain't got no ketchup. Right now, go, go get some wood. Don't fool around none either, all right? Be dark before long. All right, give me that mouse. <laughs> I ain't got no mouse, George. <laughs> Come on, you ain't putting nothing over on me. Now you're gonna give me that mouse, or do I have to take a you, sock you, at you? You what, George? I ain't you got nothing. You know goddamn George. well what I want that mouse. I don't know why I can't keep it, George. Please, I'm, look, I ain't doing, I ain't doing nothing bad with it. I, I just found. Crazy I son of a bitch. You thought you were wet George, I'm just stroking it. That's not that You didn't bad. think your feet was wet where you went in the water to go get it? <laughs> a blubbering like a baby. A big guy like you. Jesus Christ. Come on. Oh, come on now, Lenny. I ain't taking it away just for meanness. Right? That mouse ain't fresh. You broke it in petting it. Find yourself a fresh mouse and let you keep it a little while. I don't know what it is, no other mouse, George. I remember a lady used to give to me. Every mouse she gets, she used to give to me. Lady ain't here no more, George. Lady, huh? Can't even remember your own Aunt Clara. Give me some of them there sticks. Come on, Lenny. Stop giving them to you because you always killed them. There was always so little. I mean, I would pet them pretty soon. They bit my finger and then I'd pinch their heads a little bit and then they was dead. <laughs> Look, I wish we'd get rabbits soon, George. They ain't so little. But to hell with the rabbits. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> now, come on, let's eat. There's enough beans here for four men. I like them with ketchup. Yeah, but we ain't got no ketchup. All right, whatever we ain't got, that's what you want. God almighty, if I didn't, if I didn't have you on my, on my tail, I could live so easy. I'd get along so easy. George, I'm sorry. I could get a job at work. No trouble. No mess. I, I didn't want no ketchup, George. I didn't mean And at the end of every month, I could take my 50 bucks and go to town, get whatever I want. George, I'm sorry. I could eat any place, order any Please, damn thing. I'm sorry, George. Please, I didn't mean nothing. I could do that every damn month. Get a gallon of whiskey. Sit in the pool hall. Play cards. Shoot pool. But what do I got? I got you. Can't keep a job and you lose me every damn job I get. I didn't mean nothing, George. I'm sorry. You just keep me shoving all over the country all the time, you know? And that ain't the worst. You get in trouble. You do bad things, and I gotta get you out. It ain't bad people that race hell. It's dumb ones. You just keep me in hot water all the time. You just want to feel that girl's dress. You just want to pet it like it was a mouse, huh? Well, how the hell do you know you just want to feel the dress? Mean, how the hell do you know you just want to pet it like it's a mean, mouse? George. Of course you didn't mean to. You need for us to hide in the irrigation ditch all day with guys that with guns looking for us either. All the time is something you didn't mean to do. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I wish I could put you in a cage with a million mice and let them pet you.
torch. Torch, sorry. Torch, see. What do you want? Look, I was just, I was just messing around. I, I didn't want no ketchup. I wouldn't need no ketchup if it was right here, right beside me. If there was some here, you could have it. If I had a thousand bucks, I'd buy a bunch of flour. Bob, I wouldn't touch none of it, George. Look, I'd leave it all for you. I mean, you could cover your beans so deep with it, man, I wouldn't touch none of it. When I think of the swell time I could have by myself, I'd go nuts. Never get no peace. You want I should go away? Leave you alone? Where the hell could you go? I find things. You know, I don't. I don't need no nice food and, and ketchup. I, if I, <laughs> I, if I, I could lie out in the sun and wouldn't nobody hurt me. If I found a mouse, would nobody take it away from me? <laughs> I've been mean, ain't I? Won't want me, George. You only really gotta say so. Look, of course I want you to stay with me. All right, I was just fooling you. Trouble with mice is you always kill them. I'll tell you what I'll do, Lenny. First chance I'll get, I'll find you a pup. Okay? I'd be better than mice. Bigger, maybe. Hit it harder, you would kill it. If you don't want me, you just gotta say so, George. I'll go right off in them hills, and I'll live by myself. I, want I won't get no my stole from me. With me. I'm gonna shoot you for a damn coyote if you was by yourself. <laughs> now stay with me. Besides, your Aunt Claire wouldn't like you running off by yourself, even she is, did. Yeah, what is it? Tell me like you're done for. Tell you what? About the rabbits. Come on, you ain't putting nothing over Come on, on me. George, please. Please, tell me like you're done before. Tell me about the rabbits. You get a kick out of that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. But then we lay out our beds and we eat our dinner. Go on, George. <clears throat> Guys like us that work on ranches is the loneliest guys in the world. They ain't got no future, they don't belong no place. Come to a ranch, work up a steak, and then they go into town, they blow up your steak. They ain't got nothing to look ahead to. That's it. Now, now tell how it's gonna be with us. With us, it ain't like that. With us, we got somebody to talk to that gives a damn about us. We don't gotta sit in no bare room blowing our jack just because we got no place else to go. All of those other guys can rot in jail for all anyone gives a damn. But not us, because because I got you to look after me and me to look after you. That's why, George. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go on, go on. No, 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 go ahead. You know it all. No, 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 no. I, I forgot some of the stuff. Please go on, George. Tell how it's gonna be. Look, some other time. George, no! Tell how it's gonna be! Come all on right. now! All right. <laughs> <sighs> well. Someday we can get the jack together. A couple acres, a little house, some cows and some pigs, and and, and live off the fat of the land. And, and t to t tell about the rabbits, George, and about how about the rabbits in the cages, how we're gonna have you know, rain in the winter, and, and the stove, George. Tell about yeah, tell about how, how thick the cream is on the milk that you can hardly cut it with your fingers. Tell about that, George. Come on, go ahead. You know it all by well, heart. It ain't the same if I tell it, George. Come on, please. Please, come on. Okay. I have a big vegetable patch. 
a rabbit hutch and some chickens. In the winter when it rains, we'll just say to hell with going to work. We'll build up a fire in the stove and set around it. Listen to the rain come down the roof. But I ain't got time for no more, all right? Look, why don't you tell me what you're gonna do tomorrow when the boss asks you questions? Yeah, I ain't gonna say nothing. Good boy. That's swell. <laughs> say, maybe I will let you tend to the rabbits, especially if you can remember like that. Oh, I can't, George. By, I will. I, by God, I can. Good. Now, honey, I want you to... I want you to look around here for a second. You think you can remember this place? Right, the ranch is about a quarter mile up that way. To follow the river, you can get right here. Sure, George, I can remember here. Did not remember about not saying a word. I'm sure you did. Now, Lenny, if you do happen to get in trouble, I want you to come right here and hide in the brush. You think you can remember that? I hide in the brush. Hide in the brush till I come for you. I hide in the brush till you come for me. But you ain't gonna get in no trouble, because if you do, I won't let you tend no, to the no, rabbits. No, George, I'm not gonna get in trouble. I ain't gonna say nothing, I promise. All right, you got it. <sighs> At least I hope so. It's gonna be real nice sleeping here, Lenny. Looking up, the leaves. Gosh, I sure do feel free if you ain't hungry. You don't have a job, you <laughs> yeah, what do you want? Let's have different colored rabbits, George. Sure. Green rabbits, red rabbits, blue no, rabbits. No, no, no. Furry, furry ones, George. Like like I want like the ones I see at the fair in Sacramento. Sure. Cause I can just furry as well ones. go away and, and live in a cave, George. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? I'm shutting up, George. Very nice, guys. Yeah! yeah. That was pretty darn good. Give him a round of applause, guys. Yeah. yeah. That was that was great, guys. Really great. Um. Uh, how how is uh, the difference in in getting yourselves all worked up and all grimed up? How does that how does that <clears throat> feed into the beginning of the scene for you? Uh, yeah. That was the, that was one of the things I really wanted to see the difference on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it worked. Uh, it was really good. I, we, me and him were just like running back and forth outside, uh -huh. like saying we're lines. At us. Yeah. When I was running down, like I ran down the alleyway, and the guy from the <coughs> street was, yeah, staring at me. It was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Like this big fucker. What is he doing? Where'd he come from? Well, when um, when he said somebody would shoot you for a coyote, and you were standing there, you looked like this <coughs> this like mountain goat. <laughs> it was just like this big thing. Sasquatch. Yeah, he looked. He did, he did like, it was Sasquatch. Yeah. Um, uh, 
that was part of the scene. I'm going to jump around a little bit, but that was some of the things that I noted last week. That I wanted that I, I wanted the repetition uh, I, and the and the ritual that they go through uh, to seem more familiar. And you nailed it. You guys really nailed that part of it. I can just go away, you know, because you, you you get the idea that they said it a million times before. Um, very successful for you in where you were coming from. And um, what I said earlier in, in the class about finding your absolute limit and then not quite going there, I think you did quite go there. <laughs> but I think, I, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fault you um, on it because for, that's something I asked you to do. Um, and you were definitely coming from a place, you were coming from a place of irritation, of hunger, of, uh, uh, of being hot and bothered and everything so that when you came <clears throat> into the scene, um, you were, you were definitely the way John Steinbeck describes George as a as a scrappy kind of bitter little guy and the bitterness came out in you know tenfold today it really came out tenfold so much so that when you said uh, I've been mean ain't I it made sense do you guys agree with that he was pretty yeah. he was pretty rotten to him today it was really right I mean you really really laid into him today yeah. so much so that um, it was almost a, a, an NAN, a no acting necessary for you because you were just getting yelled at. And um, and w what was interesting was, you know, I've seen, obviously, I'm very familiar with this play, and usually people find the top on, uh, you know, I wish I could put you in a rabbit, I, I wish I could put you in a, mi in, a, in a cage with a million mice and let them pet you. But you found it before that, and then, and then you just kind of threw that line away. I was like, wow, it was really interesting. The way you played that today, and the um, the the relationship, uh, the thing that I was that I was really going after, because this is the fourth time. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth time you guys have done it. Um, the relationship and how long they've known each other, and how much they need each other, and how much they love each other, uh, despite feeling saddled with him. Um, you know, d despite d despite speaking the truth about him losing you every job you get. And that's not the only thing, you get in trouble, you do bad things. And um, everything that you've been through with him over the years, and you've known him since he was 12 you know, or, or nine, and you guys have grown up together and, and it's, like, it's like a life sentence. So all that bitterness came out, but then the love came out. Mm -hmm. And um, you were doing this thing that you didn't do last time where you were like sitting on the floor and kind of getting up on his leg. <laughs> almost like, it, it, it's almost like a, uh, <coughs> like a submissive, Thank you. Uh, uh, a, uh, it, it was like a submissive thing that you see apes do. They, they, they did that in, um, what was it? In the, well, in the <laughs> in the the one that they just made, where they showed that you know if you know the, they hold out their hand, the other one has to touch it. It's a TV show, right? Rise of the Planet, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. They, they, but that but but then I was watching something on on Discovery, and they were showing something with Jane Goodall and the chimpanzees, and that's a real that's thing. That's what I think that right. I saw. Yeah. So I felt like um, uh, as far as him being the alpha. And you being submissive to him, that that physicalization, you did it like five separate times, and um, that was clearly planned out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I thought about it, but then when I just when he did it, or when he was kind of laying into me, I just wanted to you know make him happy. I wanted to be pleased him. I didn't want him mad at me, you know. So it was like, please don't be angry with me. Please don't be upset. Well, it worked. It really worked. Cool. And what was interesting was that you know it was like. There was so much, there was so much kind of um, familiarity with the way you were touching him, and you kept on, you, you kept on making physical contact with him. You did that last week, but this time you took it to a different level, and um, and, and you know it's funny. I think if somebody didn't know you guys, they'd think that's a little weird. <laughs> yeah. But but because be, you know because we you know this is the first scene in the play and this is where we get to we get our introduction to to uh, to these two guys, um, you know it's a, it's as natural the most natural thing in the world. Yeah. But 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 I would think that that if he were doing that if he 
did that thing where, where he keeps on touching you in public, he'd be like, stop it, get here, you know? So uh, I, I'm, just, I'm just delighted with, with how it went today. Cool, yeah, it felt good. There were parts, I mean, because I know you talked about the game that they play as far as like, I can just as well go away and live in a cave. Right, how many times have had, they had that conversation? They've had that conversation as many times yeah. as, he, as he's told you about how it's gonna be. Yeah, and like, I actually started to feel something, so I didn't, I didn't know if I should go with it or if I should just, you know, kind of go with what, you know, the direction was to still play the game with him. Because I actually started to feel really, really like he didn't want me, and you know, well, if I've been thrown away before, if you were feeling that, um, that's good for you. It wasn't reading okay. like that today, um, but. The, the thing that I wanted <clears throat> to the, the the ritual of the things that they that they go through that came through loud and clear cool. um, and I think that when when this starts uh, I think that maybe he does feel terrible about it but I think we were uh, you know people who have watched the progression of the scene enjoyed watching you execute the note. I really enjoyed watching you guys execute the notes today because you because everything I asked you to work on, everything I asked you to think about, and <coughs> you know where are you coming from, uh, it, it was all it was all on display today, and um, uh, the uh, particularly for you, a big, huge improvement for you as to where you were coming from, and and just that I, I wish I had the book in front of me to to, to see how Steinbeck describes the 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 verbiage he uses to describe you because you 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 really got this just just bitter kind of i didn't get mine yeah and now you know and i'm stuck with you just, just everything that steinbeck display, de describes in the in the paragraph where he describes george and um yeah you were you you you, you were coming from someplace you know where are you coming from where are you where are you now where are you going to what do you want how badly do you want it what do you want to do to get it um those are the six questions that you have to you have to ask and answer in anything that you work on and I was trying to get you to that to particularly the where are you coming from because I knew if you got the where are you coming from the the scene would be catapulted into a, it, it, it would be it, it it'd be for instance you said they're coming you know so 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 we had it we had to get ourselves set right away because <clears throat> once you get this stage it's on and it was on. It's one of the great things about working um, in the theater that we don't get as much when we're doing film acting, film and television acting, is that you you bring it and then you stop, and then you go back and do it again. And and there's there's not that that uh, inertia. There's not that that momentum that gets to be built up when you're doing a stage play and when you really know it's on. If anybody heard Christian Bale's rant a few years ago, which went viral and was famous, he was so pissed off because he was in the middle of a very visceral scene. And he, can, and he sees the DP in the corner of his eye fiddling with a light, and he's like, and it took him, it took him out of it, and he knew, he knew as a film actor, well, that takes useless now. Mm -hmm. So he had, he had done his homework, he had gotten himself to a place, and then, this, and, and, and then somebody, not maliciously but took it away from him and a lot of people you know gave him heat for because he was so hot under the collar about it but you know imagine if we if we had if we, if we had started the scene and I said ah you know I'm gonna stop you because uh, I gotta just move this there now it's better start the scene again Is that open the yeah oh, fuck. yeah and um, uh, and, and, and and you know you can't rob an actor of that uh, you you can't take that away from an actor when you when, when you're working on when, when you're working on where you're coming from. You need to people around you need to respect that you you need to respect it. You need to hold on to it. You need to be able to say this is mine. This is how I'm preparing, and then go for it. And then we get we all get the benefit of it. Yeah. So I'm glad that you risked being foolish out there by the construction site and running back and forth like. It, like, it really helped though. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, it, it's you can you can manipulate yourself physically um, to get yourself going 
whether it's doing push-ups or 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 you know trying a, an exercise I like to do, which I had you do with with someone. It's like try and get away from me, and you just you have to get yourself you have to get yourself going, and then hopefully <clears throat> hopefully you know the cameras capture it. And if you're you're if you're doing a stage play, the audience is going to be like, whoa, here we go, and that's what we got today. Cool. So um, I'm uh, I, I I I'm. I'm, I don't want to let it go, but I have to. <laughs> I have to. Uh, for those of you who have seen it a few times, um, Clint, you seem yeah. to be, you seem to be really enjoying yourself today. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'd say this is probably the best scene I've ever seen in this studio. Wow. I just think it's awesome. Wow. And I love. It. <laughs> and also seeing, uh, never seen Lenny played, actually loving. Like touching and like, I've never seen it played that way. So unique, Travis. Thank really. you, man. Vulnerability was really yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, vulnerability was great. Awesome. Yeah, well, you you it was know, funny too. I, I, it I was really it. funny. Yeah. yeah, it was. Well, really, yeah, that, that well, you just like you just like you just love the, you love this guy and and yeah. you and you love you love George for putting up with it. For you love George for not leaving. Yeah. Could it easily? No, it was really it was really cool because I felt like. Literally every line I said today, I was like, there was a reason I said that. Like, I, I don't know, it was like a cool thing for me today. Like, yeah. every single line that I said, I was like, I'm saying this for a reason. When you do a run of a play like this, and it becomes clearer and clearer, I mean, you think you've got it on opening night, <coughs> yeah. or you hope you've got it on opening night, and then three and a half months into the run, you're like, that's what that means. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Like, ah. There's yeah. some life too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, oh, oh yeah. I get it. The aha moments. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, congratulations, gentlemen. Fantastic Thank job. You. And <laughs> I could go on and on and on. There's still more you could do with shit like oh, this. Oh, we could. You know. We could. I could have you bring this this scene back every week for the next year, and we <laughs> and, and and I'd be happy to see it. So much fun. Uh, but but I, I also think it's important to to let to acknowledge that you guys um, did some fantastic work. I appreciate the prep. I appreciate the world that they created. Mm -hmm. Again, for people who are are new to the class, you're allowed to do this in here. <coughs> you know what I mean? It's not it's not fluorescent lights and folding chairs. You're allowed to you're allowed to create a sense of a world and and and, and costume it and it, because it makes a difference. You don't want the first time you to be you get a chance to work with everything to be you know, on, 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 on a set where it's all of a sudden you have to deal with practicals, you have to open cans, you have to eat, you have to get this all going. It's a funny moment when you're lighting, <laughs> lighting the fire, the fire teacher, a couple of times you reminded me of the dog from Up. Oh, hi there. Yeah, hi there. <laughs> I was hiding under the porch because I love you. <laughs> what, what do you mean? I'm not the alpha. Uh, oh. <laughs> you should find a creek and shoot it. Yeah. That would be cool. There's plenty of creeks up by us. And you, exactly. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, we're, 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 we're we shot battle for us. <coughs> oh, that'd be perfect. That'd, I actually know the guy that's on that property. If you ever wanted to do it, you could. That'd be cool. Okay. All right. Uh, clearly, we have to clean up a little bit. But uh, thank you, giant gents. What? Uh, what is next? Lebowski, I think.